the pharmacological makeup is pretty well understood. It's uh, it's a it's a tea or or what herbalists would call a decoction, meaning a strong tea, strong water extraction. It's always made from at least two plants, one of which a plant called Psychotria viridis, the traditional name is Chacruna, contains the hallucinogen dimethyltryptamine or DMT. And dimethyltryptamine is a powerful hallucinogen, but it's not orally active. And the reason it's not orally active is because there's an enzyme in the gut that deactivates it, the enzyme being called monoamine oxidase. And uh, so the other component of the brew is this large jungle liana, Banisteriopsis copy, a large vine. A liana is a woody vine. And the bark of Banisteriopsis copy contains a class of alkaloids, a class of compounds called beta carbolines that happen to be very strong monoamine oxidase inhibitors. So by combining these two, you protect the DMT from degradation in the gut. You allow it to be absorbed and cross the blood-brain barrier in an active form. So that's the basis. That's the pharmacology of ayahuasca, you know, is well understood. Uh, how they made this discovery, take plant A and plant B uh, and combine them, that's where the mystery lies, if there is a mystery about it, because of the 80,000 or so plant species, you know, in the Amazon. How would they, the, the shamans, figure out that if you combine just this one with just that one, you would come up with this powerful hallucinogen out of all the ones they might have selected? Neither one of which particularly is something that, you know, one would be motivated to consume, you know, they're not, they don't look good to eat and they're not good to eat and yet they figured this out. And, you know, ethnobotanists have speculated endlessly how they figured this out. But if you simply talk to the curanderos, how did you figure this out? They will say, well, the plants told us how to do this. And as a Western, you know, reductionist scientist, you say, well, that's ridiculous. You know, what a bunch of poppycock, <laughs> you know. But they insist that this is how they figured it out, that the plants actually told them. What do you think? What's your hunch? Uh, I'm inclined to take them at their word.